The latest animated original from Netflix, The Willoughby's, drops on April 22nd, and thanks to my friends over at the streaming service, I was able to check it out prior to its debut. Before we get into this, don't forget to hit that like button, it does wonders in getting my content out there, and also a fire way down in the comments below and letting me know your thoughts going into The Willoughby's. Have you got a connection to the book or are you going into this fresh just like me? The Willoughby's is based on the 2008 novel by Lois Lowry and follows the misadventures of the four Willoughby children. Neglected by their nasty aristocratic parents, they hatch a plan to send them away on a disastrous holiday from which they may never return, feeling they'd be better off raising themselves. Heading out into the wide world along with their new nanny who is possibly evil, the children discover that taking care of themselves may not be as easy as it seems. The Willoughby's is a wonderfully charming animated film from Canadian based Bronze Studios. Now I'm not too familiar with their past animated efforts of which there have only been a few, but what I really like about this film in particular is how unique, offbeat and quirky its style is. So many animation houses out there tend to fall into the same trap and that's by conforming with this same really safe kind of generic and bland style of animation and storytelling, but Bronze Studios manages to find their own distinct distinctive style and deliver a film which is quite honestly a really large breath of fresh air. The animation here is so gorgeous and despite being highly stylized is so lifelike. So much so that I had to keep second guessing whether it was in fact CG animated or stop motion. Textures are spectacular as are fine details and there's even this wonderful frame delay that makes it feel like true model work. But no, this film is CG animation through and through and despite Despite its darker thematics has a really stunning vibrant palette that makes this movie so easy to look at and get fully enveloped in. Narratively, the movie is a little rockier. It tends to feel a touch overdrawn at parts and even at only 90 minutes, I kind of felt like it felt just a little bit too long. That said, the movie's really eccentric story and characters are just so charming that this wasn't really an enormous issue. The Willoughby's manages to deliver a really peculiar and bizarre story that even though based on an original book, just feels so fresh and really is a real pleasure to watch. There is also some really fantastic dark humour bundled into this which makes way for some really enjoyable set pieces and character moments. The cast is all terrific as well, boasting a vast array of talent including Will Forte, Maya Rudolph, Alessia Cara, Terry Crews, Martin Short and my personal favourite Ricky Gervais. The entire cast puts in great performances but as always it's Gervais who plays the fourth wall breaking narrator in the form of the Willoughby's pet cat that absolutely steals the show with a trademark hilariously sardonic delivery. The one major thing that confuses me about this movie is that I'm, I'm not quite sure who its audience is and I'm not quite sure that the movie knows who its audience is either. Its really darkly twisted themes and humour are more in line with an adult audience but on the surface, visually, it just feels so vibrant and cutesy that it feels like it's aimed at a kid's audience. I know so many animated movies can manage to blend the two and kind of aim towards this real family audience in the middle but I kind of don't feel like The Willoughby's 100% gets that balance right. Uh, again, not an enormous issue, but I, I just feel like this movie might struggle to find its core audience. Regardless, from me, The Willoughby's gets a 3 out of 5. Again, this is an incredibly unique animated film and a pleasure to watch. For that alone, I implore all animation fans to check it out. Amongst the usual selection of generic flicks, this quirky adventure is totally worthy of your attention. I look forward to seeing what Bron has to offer in the future. And at that, I'm throwing it over to you guys out there. I want to know what are your thoughts going into The Willoughby's, or if you have already seen it, what are your thoughts on the movie over? Overall. As always, fire away down in the comments below and let me know your own personal thoughts. Look guys, once again there has never been a more perfect time to just Netflix and chill, so please stay home, stay safe, enjoy the movie and I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy. If this is your first time viewing one of my videos and you'd like to see more like it in the future, then please don't forget to hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen, as well as that like button down below for that little extra support. Also don't forget to check me out on social media, and please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for watching, and have a fantastic day.